Today we're going to do another lead code challenge. It's going to be sort array by parity. Give an array of A of non-negative integers. Half of the integers in A are odd. Half of the integers are even. Sort the array such that whenever A of I is odd, I is odd. Whenever A of I is even, I is even. You can return any answer to the array that satisfies the condition. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'll give you a few guys seconds to do this. So, try to do this yourself, and then I'll explain my solution and how I did it. Okay, so right now I'm going to explain how I did this. So first of all, we're given an array, and then we need to, for every odd integer, okay, for, for every, if a of, a of 0 is odd, uh, if a of i is odd, i is odd for every a of i is even, i is even. So in order to return this, all we have to do is keep two indexes. One is to keep track of the one that is odd. The other one is to keep track of the one that is even. Okay. So then whenever you're going through the array, if you find an odd one, you just increment that. Set the odd one to a of i if, if it's odd. And set a of i if it's even. Set it a of i to even if it's even. So I'm going to create a new array. I'm going to call this vector int to return. And I'm going to go through a of i. Okay, so I'm going to go through a of i for i equals 0. i equal, I left to send a dot size, i plus plus. And what am I going to do? So I'm going to go through a dot size, i plus plus. I'm going to check if a of i is even. So in order to do that, I'll do a of i mod 2 is equal to 0. Then that means it's even. Okay, so if it's even, I'm going to increment, I'm going to set my to return at i at my index of my odd index. So, so I'm going to have a index for odd index and index for even. So index odd, that's going to be 1. Index even, that's going to be 0. If it's even, I'm going to set to return at index even is going to equal to a of i. Then I'm going to do index even plus equal to 2. Else, I'm going to do to return at index odd is going to equal a of i. And I'm going to do index odd plus equal to 2. After this ends, I'm going to return to return. And this ideally, this should work. So I'm going to do, oh yeah, I have to set the size to be a dot size, to be the same size. Let's run the code and let's see what this does. Ideally, it should work. I think it does. Okay, so yeah, the output is expected. Let's submit it. Hold up. Hold up. And it got accepted. So yeah, that's how I did mine to basically sort array by parity. I created my array with the same size. I set my odd index and even index. And every time it's an even, I set my even index to equal the whatever value, and I increment my even index by two. If it's odd, then I set my to return index at odd equal a of i, and I increment index odd by two. Then I return to return. So yeah, that's basically what I did. Now, if you want to see the actual solution, I'll explain how to do that. So to do the actual solution, they actually did not create a new array. What they did was, so what they do is essentially, they're going to have an index for J, which is the odd index. And then they, if it's, if the A of I is odd, they're going to keep going while the index of the odd index is odd and they're going to plus equal to two. And then after that, they're going to swap the two values between a of i and a of j. So essentially, for each even i, they are trying to make 
A of I even. To do it, they create an element from the odd slice and then they pass J through the odd slice until they find an even element and then they swap. So essentially they're trying to swap the values of the odd values with the even values, essentially. Well, not odd values with even values. They're trying to, whenever they see an, an odd value, they're gonna swap it with this, okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, first it is enough to put all elements, even elements in the correct pl position, since all odd elements m will be in the correct place too. So let's focus on A of zero, A2, A4. We would like to have some partition where everything to the left is already correct and everything to the right is undecided. So this idea works if we separate into two slices, even is equal to A of zero, A2, A4, and odd is equal to A1, A3, A5. Our invariant would be everything that's less than i in the even slice is correct. Everything that is less than j in the odd slice is correct. So for each i, they make a of i even. To do this, they would create an element from the odd slice, pass j through the odd slice until they find an even element, then they swap. The invariant is maintained so the algorithm is correct. Okay, so, okay, so here, if whatever value at i is odd, they're going to have a J and they're for every if the value at J is odd then add by 2 to go to the next next two elements okay then they keep doing that until A at J is not odd so after this A of J is not going to be odd it's going to be even so this is this is going to find A of J uh, is going to find the first j value that's going to be even that has an odd index. Okay, so this is going to be the first value of j that is even, a of j that is even, but it's going to have an odd index. Once they have that, they're going to swap a of i, which a of i is an odd value. Okay, so a of i is a of i is an odd value that has an even index. They're going to swap that with an even index. Okay, so an even value that has an odd index. Oh, okay. So, okay. Let me explain this. So they're going f the first. So essentially, they're 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 creating an index i that starts from zero, and i this is going to go every by two. So this is going to go through every even index. They're going to check whenever they hit a value that is odd that has an even index. What they're going to do is there they are going to check if there's a value that is odd that has an odd index, right? And they're going to keep going, keep going plus equal to two until they reach an even value that has an odd index okay so then after that they would swap these together okay so this would I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly but this essentially they are trying to find the an odd value in with an even index and swap it with an even value that has an odd index that's what they're doing. Then they're returning the array. Okay. So yeah, that's what this solution is doing. Okay. Wow, that sounds really complicated, but it's actually not that complicated. Okay. So I'll do the exact same thing as a solution. This is going to be our odd index. We're going through every odd index. And this is going to be our even index going to go through every even index. If we see a value that's odd going through every even index, what we're going to do is we are going to find the value that's odd that has an odd index. Uh, no, find the value that's Whoops, my bad. I'm going to keep going until we find a value that's even that has an odd index. 
Yeah. So we're going to keep going. So while this is odd, it's going to keep plus equal to 2. Keep going for every odd index of j. So it's going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. They're going to keep doing that until we find an even value of a of j that has an odd index. Once we find those two values, we're going to swap these two values. So we're going to create a temp variable. AI. A of i is going to equal to a of j. A of j is going to equal to temp. After that, after they swap those, they're going to return a. Okay, sounds pretty basic, pretty easy. Let me just take this out, take this out. this out take this out let's submit compile error okay control reaches a non void function oh wait okay so I'm supposed to return a afterwards I have an extra parentheses okay okay right here Submit the code. Got accepted. And yeah, there you have it. That's all you have to do for this problem. Ray, comp, subscribe. I'll check you out.